Summer vacation could shrink and the school year could grow if a proposal from a local state senator is enacted. Cincinnati State Senator Eric Kearney wants to increase the number of school days by more than 24 percent. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hirsch joins us now with the academic and financial implications. Jeff. Well, Kearney says of the top 35 economies in the world, American kids are dead last the number of days in the school year. Kearney says more school would make our children and our country more competitive in the world economy. For students in school this afternoon, the weather outside may have felt like summer, but what about school the entire summer, or at least part of the summer, and perhaps even shorter vacations at Christmas? I'm not saying I'm a um, complete advocate. I think there are pros and cons. And, um, but there, there are positives that can be identified for students for sure. Currently, Ohio requires about 1,000 hours a year of instruction. That's around 180 days. The proposal from State Senator Eric Kearney would raise that to 220 days or the hourly equivalent. Jeff Brokamp is currently the principal of Walnut Hills High School. Back in the 90s, he was principal of Crest Hills Elementary, which tested the all-year school, adding both remediation and enrichment. Brokamp says student test results generally improved, but there's a high cost, both financially, salaries, and something else. The other piece is, you know, do teachers need a break? And that's a very real question. Uh, it's hard sometimes for people who are not working as a professional in education to understand the levels of stress that are on teachers. But uh, there's, a, there's a very real question that we grappled with when we had the year-round school is, you know, do teachers need that time off? So what do the students think? While your friends are at the pool, would it be cool to be in school? Sarah Stillpass is a Walnut Hills senior. Some of her relatives in Texas have year-round school. Sarah, however, says summer is better for getting internships. School all year? No thanks. Because I, I mean, it's always, it's kind of like the hallmark of going to school is you have summer. And I, I like, I mean, I like going to school, but I don't want to do it all year round. And then there's the flip side. Actually, as superintendents, we're worried about the legislation that's introduced, it seems, every year to keep us from starting before Labor Day because all the amusement parks, et cetera, in Ohio are interested in a longer summer season. And we are concerned about them shor shortening the year even more. Now, I know some of you out there are saying, Jeff, why did you go over to Walnut Hills? Kids at that academic powerhouse are the last ones who need summer school. Well, I checked over there because I remember when Principal Jeff Brokamp was at the Crest Hills All Year School and I wanted to talk to him. That All Year experiment in Cincinnati lasted four or five years at a few schools and it definitely can help many students. But the big question is, who pays? You are talking hundreds of millions of dollars. Back to you. All right, Jeff Hirsch, thank you. And Senator Kearney is term limited out at the end of this year, and extending the school year is a tough political sell. But Kearney says it's time to at least start the conversation.